this is Carrie, and I'm here to share some tips and tricks for making changes in the Project Life app by dragging and dropping cards and photos. Now, I understand that a lot of us change our mind when we're working on our pages, so I'm here to share some ways that you can make simple changes to your layout without doing a lot of extra work. Let's see how that works. We're going to start with a layout that's already been completed. To find that, I'm going to tap on the library section of the home page, which is the lower left quadrant or the yellow section. From there, I'm going to go to my completed pages and just tap on the one that I want to work with. That will then open for us and we can start making those changes. Now this is how easy it is. All you need to do is hold your finger down on a photo or a card that you want to move. Drag it to whichever pocket you want it to be in and let go. And what that does is it changes whatever you have in those two pockets. Super, super simple. Let's do it again. Okay, on the lower right, I'm going to go ahead and tap on that photo. You can see that it starts to move. Just drag it over to the pocket that you want it to be in. Let go. And there you have it. This also works with journaling cards. The great part about that is it actually moves the journaling with the card. So if we're looking in the center of our page, I'm going to go ahead and tap on this journaling card and let's move it over one pocket. Drag it, drop it, and just like that the cards move and the journaling is still in place. Of course you'll want to make sure that the journaling looks the way that you hoped for it to, but for the most part you shouldn't have any problems. Again, let's try that one more time. Drag, drop, and there you have it. Now let's say that you want to get rid of a card altogether. There's an easy way to do that as well. Go ahead and take the card, tap on it, you see the little garbage can at the top? Drag it all the way to the top and let go. Immediately that card vanishes and it's no longer a part of your layout. Now let's go ahead and add another card back into this space. We're going to go ahead, we're going to tap on the card, we're going to go ahead and we've added our card back to our page. Easy enough, right? Now here's one other trick. As you may know, our artwork is all prepared in 3x4, 4x4, and 4x6 card sizes. Now with the app, each pocket represents a size and each pocket only allows for you to add the size of card that is meant to fit in that pocket. But let's say that you have a 4x6 filler card that you love, but you want to use it in a 3x4 pocket. There is a workaround that you can use using this same technique. So let's go ahead and tap on our 4x6 pocket and we'll pull up the cards again and let's go ahead and choose uh, this one right here. It's got that cute little camera, but we want that little camera icon to be in a 3x4 pocket. So let's go ahead and come back out to our full layout. So what you'll do then is same exact thing we've been doing and that is tap and hold down, but you're going to bring it down to a 3x4 pocket and let go. Now it's going to switch those and you can see that they've turned orientation because one of the cards is horizontal and one of the cards is vertical. So in order to get this upright, I'm going to click on the card again and you'll notice that there's a little rotation arrow on the left hand side. Tap on that and it will rotate the card so that it is the proper orientation in that pocket now. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one because I don't want to use it. So again, I'm going to tap it, drag it to the top, and then I'll fill that back in with the card that I originally had in that pocket. And there you have it. You can see how I've been able to use a 4x6 filler card in that 3x4 pocket just by adding it to the original one and then dragging it into that smaller pocket and allowing it to resize. Now this doesn't work as perfectly for every single card, but it's a great workaround if you really are hoping to put one size of a card in another size of pocket. I hope that these tips and tricks will help you as you're creating your layouts and improve your workflow and make it easier for you to make quick and easy changes when you've decided that you have changed your mind when you're putting your page together. Thanks for watching.